Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Windows 10 Game DVR to record your desktop or any games that you'd like to record. To do this, first you need to go on to Start and open up the Xbox app. As you can see, I've got it open right now. Once you're on this screen, you need to go down to Settings down the bottom here. And you need to go across to Game DVR. Once you're on here, you've got a list of options. The first option, we obviously need to make sure we've got Game DVR enabled. Make sure that says on and we're good to go. Here you've got your keyboard shortcuts. By pressing the Windows key and then G will open up the game bar. The Windows flag key and Alt and G will record. And then we've got start slash stop recording and you get the message anyway. If I scroll down a bit here, we've got record in the background while I am playing games. I've got that off at the moment. You can choose to have that on if you wish. Here we've got the record time. You can have an hour, two hours or 30 minutes. It's totally up to you depending on how long you want to record. If you are obviously doing a episode in a game showing somebody how to do a certain level on well any game then you'd obviously want to have it on two hours but if you just want to record little clips then you just have it on 30 minutes this is the folder where all our videos get stored if i go ahead and open the folder now as you can see it's blank at the moment but we will record and fill that up in a second here we've got audio. Record audio when recording game clips. If you want it to record the in sound game of your video, then have that selected on. But bearing in mind if you're uploading to YouTube, then you've got to take into mind about copyright. If it's playing like some songs in the game, then you might not be able to monetize your video due to copyright. Here we've got record my microphone. If you want to record your microphone, like I'm recording mine right now, select that, smash that on on. And the last but not least, the most important part, we've got our video quality. It's up to you, depending on your machine, on, well, just play around with the options and see what works for you, to be honest. I, I personally like 60 frames per second. And as for the video, um, video resolution, whack it straight on high for me but like I said it depends if your machine can actually handle that I'm now going to go ahead and press the Windows key and G and we should get a little game bar pop up as you can see there it is we're going to go yes this is a game and you should now have something that looks like that that is the Windows key with the flag on hold that down and press G Where'd it go? Let's just bring that up again. There we go. If I go on to settings here, as you can see, we still got the same sort of settings here, but it does recommend obviously using the Xbox app as you get more settings in that. But it's all it's all basically the same stuff in there. I'm now going to close that and we're going to smash the record button. I'm going to hit record. And as you can see, we're one second into our recording. If I just open up this folder, as you can see, there is a file in there, which is our record, which is great stuff. The program is actually working. If I now go Windows key and G, or it's in the top right hand corner here, as you can see, we can just go ahead now and press stop. And we've got game clip recorded. If I open up the folder and open up this video, I'm just going to mute that in case. As you can see, there we go. It has recorded our screen, which is absolutely great. That is just what we wanted. But that is it. That is how you use the game DVR. Obviously, when you boot up a game, you need to select that checkbox saying this is a game. And 
that's when you hold down the Windows key and G, select this is a game, and then hit that record button. And it's as simple as that. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.